Escaping Denver, Batch 2, Episode 9, The Flash. Right. So Noah and Sarah finally faced off with Palmer, who shot Noah twice and then was ripped in half by a Sasquatch looking to repay Noah and Sarah for their kindness towards Malenki. Other Malenki. The Sasquatch even spoke. He said, now even, which just furthers the whole theory of repayment. And since then, they stole Palmer's truck, which houses a weapon, and have made their way upwards a few floors to a giant warehouse complex. And that's where they dumped the truck and Andreas. R- Damn it. Forgot to mention that Andreas is the weapon. The one that Sarah met in batch one? The one that's supposed to have died? Yeah, that Andreas. Anyways, now they're hiding in a spaceship. And I don't throw that out lightly. Spaceship is a serious deal. By my acknowledging that they're hiding in a real spaceship, deep within a government facility, I'm crossing a line that I've been avoiding. I'm becoming a full-fledged member into a section of society I have dismissed my whole life. But it is a spaceship. Black metal paper plane, not the saucer we've come to expect, but also not the first time a black metal triangle has been used to be a spaceship. Asteroids. The 1980s arcade game? That's exactly what it looked like, a black triangle. And I'm not saying that asteroids is real, but why couldn't this be a spaceship too? Oh, this was stupid. Do your ears feel like they've popped? We should have listened to you. Seriously, this doesn't sound weird to you. It's completely silent. And now we're trapped in... Too late to change that. Shh, they might hear us. There's no way that they can hear us. If it's even a they, we can't see anything outside of the ship. The door opened. True, but nothing since. Maybe they just poked their heads in. Uh, Or they're outside the ship listening in on us. Shh. I don't... Maybe if I press my ear against the... No, 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 no. Well, I'm not winning any awards for Sleuth. Why aren't they opening it up to pull us out? Maybe they didn't hear it? It rang out spa music. They must have heard it. But maybe it was just inside the ship. How did we turn this thing on and still not have any lights? Maybe the aliens that own it don't have eyes. Yeah, but there's not even textures. Feel like everything is completely smooth. Please stop touching things. Nothing's happening here. Feel. I don't want... Oh. It is smooth. Almost slick. It's like the lanes at a bowling... Oh, no, 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 no. What's happening? I know what I heard. How can you hear anything with all these alarms going off? It came from the ship. Why aren't they reacting to us? Please don't refer to it as a ship. It's archive item 4576200. I don't know. Can I even see Semantics. This? It's a ship. You invalidate our research when you jump to conclusions. We don't know conclusively what this is. I don't think they can see us. Hello? No, I'm not invalidating anything. Where are you going? For doing this? We're doing this right. Help me grab the carts. Oh, Oh, so you agree that I hear something? I don't get it. They were right there. But they couldn't see us. So it's what, one way glass? But it's not glass. That door was six inches of that dense black metal. How is it now see through? Not just see through. We could also hear better, too. Has to be an explanation for this. What did you press? I I didn't press anything. I I just slid my hand along that. There are no buttons or anything to press. Maybe it was a touch screen. What was? Everything in this thing looks the same. With all these angular see-through walls, I I feel like we're on the inside of a diamond. Well, don't touch anything else until we figure it out. That plan only works if we never want to leave this thing. But if we want out, we need to find a door handle. They're gone again. So, five hours of sitting tight and we've learned two things. They don't know how to get inside, and we don't know how to get out. Yeah, that, that's a huge thing. Scientists from the collective couldn't get in, but we did. And what fortune for us, who are now trapped. Yeah, but inside a spaceship. I'm sorry my enthusiasm has waned, but as cool as this spaceship is, I don't want it to be my tomb. And it won't be. We just have to pick our time. 
We can only try to escape when Tweedledee and Tweedledum are off grabbing more equipment. Which, thankfully, is frequently, and they're scientists. No need to degrade them. They couldn't open a door. Fair. But you heard him. He, he found the slit. They just couldn't slip their hand in because the gel stuff was solid. Yeah, solid for them, but magically gel for us. Yeah, well, I can't explain it either. Maybe the ship chose us. Well, then it should choose to let us go. What if in here is the safe option? Like, it's keeping us safe. Mm, convenient. If that's what it's doing, totally. I was being facetious. I know. And I'm trying to stay positive. For the first time in this process, I don't think we're SOL. How are we not? I'm not convinced these scientists are the bad guys. They're with the Collective. Yeah, but they seem different. I thought that about Andre, and he ended up being a secret weapon for the Collective. I, I get that he betrayed you. But we can't paint everyone with, with the same... With the same brush? You bet your ass we can. We have to. Trust is going to get us killed down here. Trust is the only way we can survive. We can't do this alone, Sarah. We need allies, as many as we can get. Scientists, mysterious voices on the phone, even Bigfoot. We need help. I'm not saying that exactly. Then what are you saying? I'm saying we should take the precautions and suit up. Look, 14 years you've worked with me in here, and I did another eight under Dr. Billadid. The ship, archived item 4576200, is inert. We'd have known by now if it was dangerous by the, the giant tumors that would be growing all over me. Then explain these readings. Things don't spontaneously emit beta particles at these levels out of nowhere. Shut it off. Turn it back on. It's been here longer than me. It probably just needs a minute. But we have something here. Yeah, but until we know what that something is, I don't trust... Don't trust what? It's... Who? We went in for the sake of science. They went in for other reasons. They signed the checks. Yeah. And they've been happy to do it this long without results. They can survive in the dark a little longer. But if it makes you feel better, we can suit up. Deal? Deal. Fine. Fine? Yes, fine. When they come back, we'll try and make contact. What is a bad guy? And, and furthermore, can you be a good guy working for the bad guys? Like a big pharmaceutical company, yes, they price gouge, they probably use unethical practices, and all in all give off a, an icky vibe. But what about the amazing scientists working for them? The doctors and researchers trying to cure and treat disease, they gotta be the good guys, right? What if that's what's going on here? Sure, the collective pays them, but what if they're trying to do good work? They may not even know about the testing on humans. The reality is they need help. No one nailed it, and maybe that means needing to take a few risks in order to gain an ally. They took a risk on me by sending me the messages, and I'm taking a risk by putting it out there to you, and my risk is paid off. I'm getting great emails to direct my research or just to share in the hunt. These risks are necessary to avoid going it alone. Classic. I would have tried that too. What's it? You done with your little close encounters moment? We'd have felt foolish for not trying it. Well, I felt foolish regardless. If we're going to feel foolish regardless, we might as well keep trying. Where did you touch that time you thought they heard you sneeze? There, but I, I don't... Hey! It's... It's working. Impossible. No, it, it's not the tones. We just figured out how to... Can you actually turn those off? Uh, of course. After, after all these years. Oh, no. No, no. When you? Yeah. Brand new. Uh, how is that, how's that possible? We've had this item since the early 50s and we... It's because we're escaped lab experiments. Pretty recently, actually. Rip that bandage off. Oh, they had to hear it eventually. And you escaped to Earth from where? No, we're from here. Me too. But not here. 
here from Newark, near Newark. You heard of Linden? And I'm from Australia. Originally. I don't... If this is some kind of prank, it's not funny. It's not a prank. What, what are you looking for? The, the speaker. You. you who, who, put, who, who put you up to this? Parker? Lehman. You tell those... Yeah, we don't know who they are. We're serious about the whole lab experiments thing. But... Don't talk to them, Terry. What? Why? Your voice is claiming to be inside archive item 4576200. An item without hinges or seams. Somehow inside. Not somehow. We used the door. What door? Near the gel slit thingy. It's it's a gel for you. Kind of. It never actually touched my skin or moved around it. I told you. I, I, I told her. I knew it was a non-Newtonian fluid, but instead of force, it had some other factor controlling its viscosity. Damn it, Terry. Shut up. Hey, maybe you back off on Terry a little bit, huh? He's just excited to know that item 45 whatever whatever isn't just a piece of space metal, and he's kind of geeking out a bit with Noah. I'm Noah. Hey, hey Noah, I'm, I'm Terry, and she's... Not another word. Pause on whatever this is. Have you lost your mind? There are strict protocols to follow should we make contact or progress on the item. It's, it's a ship. Whatever it is, we have rules. We didn't sign on to babysit this thing. We're here to try and understand it, to gain insight into them, to to fill the holes in the stories. He's got a point. We can help with that. We got inside. Terry, look at me. Listening to them is going to get us both killed. I've waited almost 25 years for this. I don't want to die for them. Oh, we're not asking you to die. Only listen. We can listen at least, can't we? They're not going anywhere. And we'll answer any questions you have. Help each other out. You can even start. If you're really inside the... What does it look like inside? Uh, Currently, uh, invisible. Every surface is like a crystal clear window. The only way we can tell we're inside is the way the light differs. How How can it be entirely clear? It's solid black from... One for one. Our turn. What do you know about your employer? We're on a government contract. No, no, that's not what I asked. What do you know about the collective? This was a bad idea. We're done here. Sit back down. Sit. Terry. Who are you? Just two stolen people looking to go home. Honestly. Then why ask about the collective? Because they are monsters. And if you didn't know that, we were going to enlighten you. And what we've been through is only a drop in the bucket to what they've been up to down here. What you've been up to down here. We're not doing anything nefarious. We're scientists. And what about the rest of what the Collective is up to? You have blood on your hands. Stop! I didn't like the idea of doing this in the first place. But if we're doing this, let's stick to the rules. One for one. We answered your question. We know for whom we work. Monsters. Next. Oh, okay, so... So it's clear inside. What about the controls? What do they look like? There aren't any. At least not that I can see. But when we touch certain surfaces, things happen. Like like a touch screen? Yes, but different. My fingers never quite touch the surface. Uh, there's resistance. In fact, if you run your hand along this slowly, you can feel the, like, resistance in the air. Sarah, feel Yeah, I hadn't noticed. Like a puff of air without a source. Mm, Hmm, haptic technology. Uh, Who are the haptics? No, it's it's technology that adds tactile sensations to stimulate a sense of touch with a non-physical element. Like pressing invisible buttons. Exactly. So when I wave my hand like... Don't! What did I do? I have no... Are the, are the textures different as you feel around? Yeah, but we're going to stop playing around. No idea what we're pressing in here. Noah, are the textures different? Uh, of the air puffs? Yes, but we're going to stop Noah? messing. Where'd they go? Yeah. Noah. Terry, we can hear Sarah. you. Sarah. What's, uh, what's going on? Hello. I think I killed the mic. Terry to Noah, where'd you go? I'm calling it in. This was stupid. Wait! No! 
Oh, we need to get it back on. I can't remember where it was. Wait, it give was me no somewhere way. in this no, area. Noah, Sarah, speak to me. Oh, we've gone opaque again. At least we can still hear them. You don't need to. Emergency lockdown of Laboratory 35N. I repeat, emergency lockdown of Laboratory 35N. No. Damn it. Oh, where's the door handle? Stop. You're going to hit something. What did I do? We don't know that you did anything yet. We can't tell unless we get the screens back on or find the door. Oh, no. Is it bad? We set off a weapon. Damn it. Are they hurt? Dead? I don't know. Are they moving? They're not even there. Just shadows of them. We're in a closet of all places. Nothing exciting, just industrial-sized jugs of cleaner. Right, Noah? Huh? Arthur. Sir. Take six and head back to the lab. Yes, sir. And Arthur, we're not trying to capture shit today. We shoot to kill. Yes, sir. Now you all follow me. You could. I can't believe what I did. It was an accident. Besides, that asshole called us in. He didn't do anything wrong. She was the one who made that announcement. I know. Women can be assholes too, and she definitely was. It doesn't mean she deserved to die. Of course not. But you didn't choose. It was an accident, Noah. One that bought us enough time to get a head start. Bought us some time? I vaporized an entire lab, Sarah. Reduced people to shadows in a flash. You saw the space. It's like we blasted the walls with acid eating into the concrete. Accident or not, I did that. Fair. Own it. But if you still want to live past all this, making sure what we did and do isn't in vain, we need to move forward. There's another vent up here. Game for more spiders and dust? You're right. If I give up now, they will have died for nothing. That's the spirit. Now, give me a boost so I can open this thing. <clears throat> Anything? Yeah, I'm a psychic. Spiders and dust galore. But big enough for us for sure. Lift me a little further. Thanks. Okay, step up on that shelf and grab my hand. Shh. Hey, shut the vent. Shut the vent. There isn't anywhere to hide. Just, shh. We're good unless they burst through the door. I locked it. We have time. Just climb. See? I told her the door was locked. We didn't even come back. They won't be able to get in if we can't get in. You're right. Good thing we got keys. Quickly, take my hand. Shut the vent and run. We still have time. No. We don't, but you do. Shut the Wait, vent. Wait, did you hear something in there? Stay safe. She can save me later. What are you gonna do? Something stupid. Enough! You satisfied? Got that out of your system? Boudreau, you good? Yes, sir. Uh, he, just, he just got my leg. I didn't expect him to get a hold of my gun. Head to a med bay and get that sorted. Yes, sir. And you, we saw what you did in the lab. What did you use? My hands. Bullshit. I'm dangerous. Having just fought you, I disagree. No, I am. Even friends of mine know they should be fleeing from me. Getting as far away as possible. What about your friend? The girl? The actually dangerous one? She's dead. I killed her. He's lying. No, I'm not. You been to the lab? Then you saw the two shadows burn into the ground. One of those was Sarah. And what about the other shadow? Who else died? Me. <laughs> Uh, uh. 
And stay down. I said stay down. Maybe there's only one way someone like you learns. The hard way. Don't hold back. He's the healer. Noah. Let's take a moment and have a drink for Terry. Yes, he worked for the bad guys, but other than that, he seemed like an all right guy himself. Like an excited lab version of Noah. No, he didn't need to die, but if they had waited any longer, that room would have been filled with soldiers. And I don't think Noah's psyche could have taken that body count. What was that? It sounded like somebody taking a picture with a hundred-year-old camera. What kind of weapon vaporizes a room and leaves only shadows? I'll tell you. Atomic. Atomic bombs would bleach any surface they hit, so any unbleached sections or atomic shadows were just the outline of things that were blocked from the blast. Now, I don't think this was atomic, but I, I could be wrong. What if it was light-based, like a light so strong it burns? I don't even know where to start researching that. Plus, I'm going to have my hands full with the next couple episodes. Always harder to maintain the timeline when they get separated. Big thank you to Curious Cast for your continued support in getting these messages out. If you heard something I didn't hear or have other theories, please hit me up at escapingdenverpod at gmail.com or join the conversation on Reddit at r escaping Denver. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode of Escaping Denver. I think I've lost. I don't see how I get out of this one. My body feels like it's on fire, I'm trying to heal what they beat into me. I can't even. You hear that? But I still think of you. When I'm alone at night.